of founder of Enevo. It's a company that is changing waste management to a demand-based model. So traditionally, waste management is, is uh, and waste collection operations is done statically. So let's say you have a city with uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of, of uh, waste containers. And uh, they're collected every day, every hour, every week, same static route and schedule. So what we do is that we actually put sensors inside waste containers and then, okay, excellent. So I'll skip a few slides. Okay. Retry. So waste collection is done statically. So collecting basically every day, every every hour, every every week, you know, regardless if the containers are full or not. So basically it's driving from container to container blindly. And this is something that I mean people don't get. It, it's something that happens in the background. We don't pay attention to this at all. And uh, it's hugely inefficient. It's like having a taxi driver going from door to door, knocking on the door, hey, is there anybody who wants to, to drive uh, to another location, and still getting paid for this, even if there's a, 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 a uh, client looking for a ride or not. Well, what we figured out that, hey, it would be good to know where to go and when to go. So we put sensors inside containers, so we know exactly when we need to go and collect a container. So there's no need to go and collect a corner, container that is going to be full in a week or you know, a few days from now. So it's better to go and collect only when there is true demand. So. As said, we put sensors inside the waste containers. They send wireless the data into our servers. And we do very advanced uh, predictive analytics on, on figuring out when the container is going to get full and calculate the optimal route and, and schedule and what kind of fleet and resources are needed to collect that service area. So traditionally, we have like operations managers uh, running a fleet of, let's say, two, 300 trucks in a city. And uh, they do manual planning day to day, all the time, and figuring out where to go. And, and, uh, and uh, our servers basically do everything automatically. So there's one guy sitting in the city and managing the whole city's waste uh, collection operations. Everything happens automatically in the most optimal way. They're able to track where the trucks are moving and so on. So quickly about the company. Everything we do is, is a service. So we provide hardware as a service, software as a service. And uh, we're about 70 people right now, growing quite rapidly. And the business model is a subscription, traditional SaaS model. And uh, so far, second half of this year, we've really been accelerating. So we're growing month to month about 20% revenues, which is quite, quite good. We have regional offices in some of the more mature markets that we're focusing on, North America, UK, and, and so on. We have also a very good team. I built uh, the company originally with myself and my co-founder. We were two guys in a garage, and now we're like 72 people in the company and expect to be double that size next year. And we have a world-class management team with startup and IPO experience as well under their belt. So far, we raised about $26 million of, of venture money. This is a slow-moving but very, very large market. So waste management, it's a, it's a trillion euro market. It's about six times larger annually than the cell phone business. So it's, it's something that people don't really understand and think about. So some of the customers we have, North America, big cities, skyline of Pittsburgh here, New York City is a customer, Baltimore, Boston. It's something that most of you will never see or even think about, but it's our system that is running automated demand-based waste collection in these cities. Same thing in UK, 
We have about 20 city councils working with us, two London boroughs already, and Europe, some of the big, big uh, famous cities, Barcelona, Antwerp, so on. So, it's an example of what we did in the city of Rotterdam. They did paper collection in the city five days per week. We're now able to cut down that to, to three days. They get the exact same amount of tonnage in, and they can be provide a better service to their customers, and uh, just cutting down costs. It's quite, quite remarkable savings, changing from a static to a demand-based. There's a lot of discussion about demand-based logistics and, and things like that. This is a closed environment, and, and uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm just super excited every day when I see our customers saving money and providing better service. So interesting, the media wrote about us last year. Very, I don't know if this is, this is a good thing or a bad thing, but at least it, uh, it uh, put some, put some uh, comedy to the whole thing. Everybody talks about Internet of Things. We're, we're, we're now known for being the guys who are in the Internet of Shit. And it's, people at least, they remember us now, and they know. So, so that's, that's uh, 